to interrogate the character and the ability of Governor Kawira to govern the county of Meru, the county government of Meru. It's not usual that an individual can be called and be brought before this assembly without a reason. There is a fundamental reason that underline, underlies her ability to govern. You're being called for the third time to interrogate the ability of Governor Kawera to manage the resources of the county of Meru. You're being called upon for the third time to interrogate the ability of Governor Kawera to ensure that there is effective service delivery of services to the people and the residents of Meru County. Accountability, honorable members, is a measure of leadership. Accountability is the ability of an individual to be held to account for our actions. It's not a call for interrogating the weakness of an individual, but the ability of that individual to execute her constitutional mandates. For the third time, there cannot be malice. This cannot be personal vendetta. There is no relationship that is unconstitutional between the governor and this, the county assembly that can make the county assembly to be aggrieved on behalf of the people of Meru County for the third time. Accountability is a gateway to earning trust. We are here because there is serious trust deficit with the ability of Governor Kawera to govern the county of Meru. We shall bring evidence before you, Honorable Senators, how reckless statements that flies over the face of, of uh, Chapter 6 of the Constitution in respect of the ability of an elected leader at the status of a governor to be able to earn confidence in the office that she holds. We'll show you how families have broken down courtesy of reckless statements that are not accountable, made and attributed to the governor. Honorable Senators, we shall bring before you evidence how money and resources that Kenyans are on a day-to-day basis working hard to generate are being misused at the heart and the behest of the governor at the quest or behest of her inability to govern the resources, her inability to manage the county government of Meru, her inability to be in charge of the county. That is the case that we have before you. And when she is called to answer to the same, she has always an escape route. She has manufactured a serious safety valve that makes sure that she is never held to account of her actions. She blames others. She keeps on saying, it wasn't me. She's in charge of the county that, as we speak, has embezzled courtesy of maintaining a manual payroll. Kenya shillings, 212 million hard-earned money due to the inability to manage the county. We have a governor who is serving in the county government of Meru and who is not able to manage her human resource. When proper procedures are taken, when pro proper procedures are called out by the employees, they are victimized. They are victimized because she wants to maintain a system that is not accountable. This house has recent the occasions. And whenever I appear before this house, I live with confidence, whether we win the case or we lose the case, that this house has done its work. This is the house that will go to the history of this republic that it has been out to hold individuals accountable, irrespective of your gender, irrespective of your association, irrespective of your political association. This house has remained true to its calling. This house has remained very impartial to the processes. And that is why for the third time we are bringing a case against Governor Wakawira, because we have confidence with this house that we look to the facts of the case and dispense with substantive justice. The first step to one's success is taking responsibility of your actions. The first measure, the measures 
or we or the measures of one's personal character is attributed to the ability to manage the responsibilities that has been bestowed and granted unto you. And if you cannot then be held accountable, if you will always be blaming others, then what is your role? When those others are making that mistake, when those others are embezzling the funds, where are you? What actions have you taken? We'll bring cases where the county assembly has attempted to hold um, accountable the governor, reports made before the county, uh, the county assembly, summons issued, recommendation made, and the governor declines. With contempt, ridicule, and spite on the part of the county assembly. That is the case that we have. You, honorable senators, holding people accountable is a show of love. When you hold somebody accountable, you are simply saying, honorable senators, that you are capable of a bigger or to do bigger things. This is not out of malice. It's not out of any personal vendetta. It's to show the love that the county assembly has for the people of Meru. We'll present before you evidence that public participation was effectively carried out, 85% of the participants giving a verdict that supports the county assembly's case. We'll give you evidence that 48, 40, 49 county assembly members voted in support of the motion. These are not relatives to the, the governor. They have no any fraternic association with the governor. They are people who are simply executing their mandate as bestowed by the constitution. That is the simplicity of the case that we have. We'll give you, we'll bring you evidence of a witness who is currently displaced from her matrimonial home courtesy of the responsibility of the governor. Courtesy of the governor inability to manage how she relates the members of the public. We'll bring you the sniper's wife. The sniper's wife is a, is a, is a case before this assembly. Not to prosecute the murder case, but to prosecute chapter 6 of the constitution in respect to the governor's ability to manage the county. As I pen off and invite my learned friend, Honorable Senators, we invite objectivity in the case. You brought evidence by Governor Kawera, former individuals who moved this motions before for her impeachment have now been staged as a witness. You realize what happened, what don't occur to this county member of assembly who just the other day a few months ago was moving the impeachment for the governor and now they have become a darling of the governor. Is that really a conduct that is consistent with innocence, that is consistent with integrity and accountability and transparency? We'll bring you that evidence. We'll show you why this uh, a serious turn of events. Honorable Senators, kindly allow me to invite Mr. Mawira for further submissions. I am most humbled.